Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been such a long time since our last video. Um, I'm here with my son Christopher. He's going to help me out with this one today. Um, I actually want to take a page, literally a page, out of this book by Tim Larkin called When Violence is the Answer. Uh, it's a great book. If you're into any sort of combat sports or fighting, you should definitely read it. Um, and he makes a very interesting point in this book that I want to share with you guys today. Um, so I'm going to set up the scenario that he sets up in the book. So here it is. I'm going to take Chris right here. We're going to set this scenario up here like this. And now my question to you is, what would you do in this situation? All right, so take a minute, think about it. Okay, so I'm going to ask you this. How many of you said maybe, okay, well, I'm here. Maybe I might knee him. From there, I might like weight drop and then elbow him, you know, and whatever. Right? How many of you are thinking that? So how many of you are thinking you were in Christopher's spot, one being choked? My guess is probably most of you. And that's the point that he brings up in the book, that Tim brings up in that book. That most people see themselves as the person being choked, reacting to the violent situation. What's interesting is that he points out that a lot of the bad guys, the alpha predators, the guys in prison, you show them that scenario, they all see themselves doing the choking. They're the ones on that aggressive side of the violence. So you say, okay, all right, sure, that's why they're bad guys. Well, my point is, you can be the good guy and still be choking someone. Because realistically, why can't the scenario be this? I'm walking down the street, I'm um, turning the corner, give myself some distance, and here's a bad guy coming to say, clap on me, so I really go, boom, eyes. I go to choke him, knee him, weight drop, elbow him, whatever. All right? So why can't the story be that? So I guess the question really is, can you be the good guy and be choking somebody? You don't have to be just an, an alpha part of bad guy. Yes, you can be a good guy and be choking somebody. But I guess the real question you need to ask is, can you see yourself as the good guy and actually go in and choke someone and do some of the violent stuff that you might need to do in that type of encounter? So, something to think about. Uh, keep watching. I'll see if I can get Joe to respond to this too. Hey, Eric. Great video. Uh, interesting concept. The only thing I would ask is I would ask the people looking at the video to ask themselves this rhetorical question. I think everybody in the video would say they could see themselves being the one having to instigate the violence or having to use violence. I think everybody would normally say that. My question is, if you initially looked at that video and you put yourself in Christopher's position, what makes you think that you could resort to violence under a stress situation or a pressured situation immediately like that. All right, guys, I hope we made you think a little bit in this video. It's an interesting concept to look at and to see where you find yourself. Did you see yourself as the person responding to violence, the person being choked? And is that such a good thing always? Do you always want to be reactive in a fighting situation? Or did you see yourself as the person doing the choking? Does that make you a bad person? Or does it just mean that you're being active in protecting yourself and keeping that person from potentially hurting you? I'd love to hear what you think. I'd love to hear where you saw yourself in that video. Uh, please keep watching. We appreciate the support as always. And we'll try the next one out soon. Thank you so much, everybody.